Alright guys, we're here at Weedsport Speedway. Beautiful day. We lost Saturday's event to rain. It rained a crazy amount, but we are back here today. 20,000 to win, 34 cars. We drew a three, so we're the third car out. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Hope they qualify good, get in the front row of a heat race, get in a dash, and hope have a good night, guys. We will talk to you uh, throughout the night and see what happens. Out next! for the top spot in the World of Outlaws point standings from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway, BillionAuto.com, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, GRC Transportation, number two, David Gravel. David Gravel in the number two. Lap number one for Gravel. Quick time out of 14, 718, 14718. Win and second in two features here last year. Two wins. The best of his six World of Outlaws starts here at Weedsport. Second lap time for David Gravel is a 13 6 83 1 3 6 8 3. Quick time for car number two to advance to the Toyota Dash. Green flag is waving to start the second heat race. David Gravel to the bottom in turn one. Brad Sweet jumps up to the top of the speedway. Three-car battle for third. Now Sweet with a run on Gravel into corner number three. The big cat on top. David Gravel down low, side by side out of turn four. And Brad Sweet leads the opening lap. David Gravel second. The Shark Racing car is battling for third. Up high, it's Jacob Allen down low. Landon Myers. Allen has the third position. And at the moment, it is Chad Miller in the 88C occupying the fifth and final transfer spot. Brad Sweet starting to pull away from the field. David Gravel in second. Jacob Allen trying to get a little bit closer to the big game motorsports number two. Landon Myers keeping pace with Allen. Jacob Allen nearly got the inside wall coming out of turn two. Halfway home, four laps complete, four laps remaining. Brad Sweet leads it. David Gravel in second. Jacob Allen third. Landon Myers fourth. Chad Miller in fifth. Max McLaughlin sixth. Corey Turner seventh. Jordan Hutton eighth. And Tommy Ruro in ninth. Jacob Allen on the low side in one and two, but can't hold that bottom line as he tries to catch up with David Gravel for second. All Brad Sweet leading it by more than two seconds. Two laps to go for the four time and defending series champion. Jacob Allen looking for a last couple of laps. Run on the number two of David Gravel for second. White flag waving for the big cat. Gravel solidly in second as Sweet gets very close to the wall exiting turn two. Checkered flag in the air. It will be Brad Sweet getting the heat race victory. Second will go to David Gravel. And now we will talk to the uh, second place finisher from heat race number two, the driver of car number two, David Gravel. Last year's opening night winner here at the Empire State Challenge. And David's going to reach in. And what's he going to find? It is the number four for David Gravel. Well, David, I got a text from Brad Doty and a couple other people. Man, how did you hang on to that race car in the heat race? What exactly happened first? And then what was broken on the car? I smoked the infield wall uh, off of two on the first lap, of course, and uh, bent the axle knocked the shock stud off the axle as well and uh, the radiators broken and leaking so uh, they rebuilt the car it's pretty close but uh, man I think we had a pretty good car to hang on a second there just shows you uh, how good our race car was so I felt like we made good changes from qualifying to the heat race um, Pildra helped us out a lot there but felt like I had a pretty good car uh, pre hitting the wall there so uh, see what we could do I, I wasn't nervous I'll take a one three or four so four is fine with me uh, you could pass here and uh, see what we can do tonight. All right, David Gravel is going to start from P4. Row bringing them very slowly to the green flag in the Toyota Dash. Baron leads into turn one. Brad Sweet follows in second, and Brock Zierfoss third as they exit the second turn. David Gravel coming after Zierfoss for the third spot goes to the high side of the speedway in turns three and four. Danny Perrin leads the opening lap of the Toyota Dash with Brad Sweet second, David Gravel third, Brock Zierfoss fourth, side by side for fifth. Donnie Schatz low, up high, it's the 18 of Giovanni Selzy. They'll stay wheel to wheel into quarter number three. Selzy in the middle of the racetrack now gets to the bottom out of turn four. Donnie Schatz looks once again to the inside in turn one. Trying to go around both of them on the outside. The 41 of Carson Masita now shots to the inside of Selzy once again. Looks for the 
move, can't make it happen. They'll battle for the fifth spot. Three cars racing out of turn number four. Giovanni Selzy, Donny Schatz, and Carson Macedo. Halfway home, three down and three to go. Selzy looks to the inside of Zirfoss, can't make the move for the fourth spot. All Danny Farron out in front of the Toyota Dash with two laps remaining. The advantage over Brad Sweet, 1.3 seconds. Donnie shots to the inside, can't get by Giovanni Selzy, and now Macedo with a run on the 10-time champion at the end of the back straightaway. White flag waving for Danny Varon. Schatz looks to the inside, can't get by Giovanni Selzy, he'll try the bottom in one and two. And now Schatz gets by Selzy, now nearly by Brock Zierfoss. Checker flag in the air, Danny Varon wins the Toyota Dash. Brad Sweet second, David Gravel third at the line. Fourth goes to Brock Zierfoss with Donnie Schatz in fifth. An Empire State driver will start on the pole of the Empire State Challenge. Danny Varon victorious in this evening's Toyota Dash in car number 01. Second to the 49 of Brad Sweet. Third to car number 2, David Gravel. Fourth to 3, Zia Brock Zirfoss. Fifth to 15 of Donnie Schatz. Sixth to 41 of Carson Macedo. Seventh to car number 18, Giovanni Selzy. And an eighth to 17 of Sheldon Hoddenshield. Green flag waving at Weedsport Speedway. Danny Farron leads the field into turn number one, side by side for second. David Gravel, Brad Sweet going at it as they try to track down the 0-1. Opening lap belongs to Danny Farron. Three wide further back in the pack, Giovanni Selzy, Sheldon Hodgson, and Brock Zierfoss. Now David Gravel up to challenge Varon for the lead. Gravel to the bottom, Danny Varon down low at the line. Danny Varon led it by six thousandths of a second, but now Gravel to the inside out of turn number two, looking for the lead. Danny Varon up top, David Gravel on the bottom, battling for the race lead out of turn four. Gravel's got it this time by two thousandths of a second. Danny Varon not letting David Gravel get away as they work out of turn four. Gravel on the point, Varon back to the inside in turn number one. Forges ahead momentarily, but the momentum belongs to the big game motorsports number two. Varon tries the middle of three and four. David Gravel hooked up on the cushion. Brad Sweet third, fourth belongs to Carson Macedo and Donnie Schatz running fifth. Varon looking for a run on the top out of turn two. Back to green. Donnie shots a quick peek to the inside of Brad Sweet. Couldn't make a pass there. Sheldon Hoddenshield goes up top in one and two. Sheldon trying to make the big move on the restart. Sheldon Hoddenshield into the top five looking for fourth now. Sheldon Hoddenshield fourth as they cross the line. And taking a, oh, he hit the wall. Sheldon Hoddenshield clipped the wall with the right rear. Sheldon still on the move, looks to the inside of the 41 of Carson Macedo, battling for third with Donnie Schatz right behind them. Schatz works low out of turn two, pulls even with Sheldon Hoddenshield, battling for the fourth position. Sheldon rips the cushion in three and four. Hoddenshield maintains fourth, goes right back to the top in turns one and two. David Gravel continues to show the way, and now Danny Varon feeling pressure from the third place car of Carson Macedo, as well as from Sheldon Hodgeshield. Second, third, and fourth nose to tail at the end of the back straightaway. Diving down low, Carson Macedo, can he slide up in front of Varon? Yes, he can. Varon tries to cross back underneath him, but now Carson Macedo second with 10 laps in the books. Varon trying to come back at Macedo on the inside out of turn number two. Sheldon Hodgeshield is right there as well. Sheldon to the top, Varon to the top as well. And now Donnie Schatz closing in on Varon and Sheldon Hoddenshield. Sheldon taps the wall once again, an opportunity now for Donnie Schatz to move by. Donnie Schatz by Sheldon Hoddenshield into the fourth spot. Sheldon right back to the high side of the speedway in three and four. Sheldon and Schatz coming after Danny Varon. 
third, fourth, and fifth framed together nicely on the screen. Varen back to the inside of Sheldon Hoddenshield. Donnie shots to the very bottom of three and four. Shots by Danny Varen. Sheldon Hoddenshield third. Donnie shots in fourth. Leader in traffic in turns three and four. Shots to the inside of Sheldon Hoddenshield. David Gravel working traffic. His lead over Carson Macedo, 1.64 seconds. Sheldon Hodden shield to the top. Now shot squeezes by on the inside. Looking to go two for one. Can't quite make that happen. Donnie shots a slower car down low in front of him. It yields the fourth spot back. The 17 of Sheldon Hodden shield. Shelton closing once again on second place Carson Macedo. A 1.3 second lead for David Gravel as we close in on the halfway point of the Empire State Challenge. Shots to the inside of Hodden Shield one more time. Moved on his shots to the third spot. Shelton trying to take it right back from him on the top in three and four. Shelton Hodden Shield back to third as they cross the line. Sheldon now low in one and two. Donnie Schatz tries it up top there. Crossed flags for your race leader. 18 down, 17 to go. David Gravel leading it. Corson Macedo second. Sheldon Hodenshield third. Donnie Schatz fourth. Danny Varen fifth. Brad Sweet sixth. Giovanni Sozzi seventh. Dave Blaney in eighth. James McFadden ninth. And Logan Shewhart tenth. Gravel continuing to work the traffic now. Caution on the sp David Gravel brings us back to green, challenged immediately by Carson Macedo. And now Donnie Schatz gets into Sheldon Hoddenshield. And Schatz able to keep the car going and now slowing to a stop, the 83. Dave Blaney getting closer to Macedo, who gets closer to Gravel in traffic. Two laps to go for the Big Game Motorsports number two. Carson Macedo to the high side in turn two. Trying to get by Sean Donald and Robbie Price. David Gravel takes it down the back straightaway. And into three and four, he'll see the white flag. One lap to go in Weedsport. Gravel through the middle on entry to the top side out of turn number two. Grabs that razor thin cushion. Down the back straightaway and into three and four. The Empire State Challenge finds David Gravel in a victory lane state of mind. He wins at Weedsport. Up top to celebrate the win. David Gravel gets the job done at Weedsport Speedway. He'll once again take sole possession of the World of Outlaws points lead heading into Ironman weekend at Federated Auto Parts Raceway at I-55. David Gravel around the front of the car and Chase Rodman ready to talk to him. David Gravel now tied for the most wins all time with the World of Outlaws here at Weed Sport. David, you're right there with Steve Kinzer and Donnie Schatz for the most ever at this place. Right up your alley. Great job. Congratulations, man. Uh, thank you. Uh, man, Danny Varen was good there early, and then that caution came out, kind of saved me a little bit, but uh, had to get the wing back some, and then I was searching. I went to the top one and two and smoked the wall and uh, knocked the ladder off it, and uh, that didn't really help the handling too much. Uh, made, made the car a little worse, but uh, I felt like as long as I was running the line I was doing in one and two, I, don't, I didn't think he would be able to pass me or get a big run on me, and just run into three as hard as you can, and try to backpedal. Uh, the cushion got really, really far around there and I started shorting up the exit because there was some uh, brown stuff there and I think that worked out pretty good. But uh, Cody, Zach and Scott uh, worked really hard tonight. I, you know, cleaned the front end off the thing in the heat race and uh, knocked the radiator out of it. So they worked hard all night and uh, fixed a lot of broken parts and I broke some more there. So that's probably the most stuff I tore up in a night, but we won. So uh, the 20 grand will make up for it. A pretty good momentum boost here heading into a, a pretty important time of the schedule here in just a few weeks. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, Brad started on the front row. He's going to be hard to beat, but he obviously missed it tonight. And, uh, you know, you didn't want to see Sheldon drop out of the race or Donnie. Those guys seem to be pretty good, too. But uh, it is what it is. All we could do is control what we could control and try to win races and run up front. And that's what we've been doing. So I just got to thank uh, everybody. Uh, he's at Speedway and uh, Todd Quaring and his family, Taylor, Lisa, Andrew, uh, Billion Automotive, uh, Jackson Motorplex, um, High Performance Lubricants, JRC Transportation. 
I uh, wish Ray Capella was here tonight, but his loss. Um, but uh, I got to thank Morrison Engines, Berryman Suspension, Maxim Chassis. Uh, couldn't do it all of them. Uh, Titan Wings, uh, FK Rod End, Simpson Racing Products, uh, Butler Built Seats. So feels good. It's been a fun year. We, we've been hitting our stride here for most of the season, and uh, let's keep it rolling. How about it? The entire family is here tonight. David Gravel gets his ninth win of 2023. We'll get a 50-50 ticket drawn here real quick. There it is. Looks like it's going to be a yellow ticket for $2,658. Yellow ticket 069924. 069924. You have won tonight's 50 50. Now we'll run over here real quick and get a word with our second and third place finishers. Carson Macedo, he finishes in second, made it interesting there towards the end of this race. All right, guys, New York showed up and showed out. I got three chocolate milks to try, all local places. We got Hoover's Dairy in Sam Burn, uh, New York. A cool little small glass container, perfect size. I prefer this size, guys. I cannot drink the big ones. Let's see how Hoover's is. Wow, that is pure chocolate. Let me give that another shake. That's like a milkshake. I'm gonna give that an 8.1. This is a local dairy, has no label on it. So it's a small town in New York. Um, don't remember the name of it, the person told me, but it's their family's uh, dairy. Give her a try. Give her another, another sip here, another shake. Pretty similar to be honest. It's good. I'm gonna go 7.9. And then we have old fashioned cream top whole chocolate milk. Bottled by Burley Berries and Blooms. It is by the Creamery. This is in Warsaw. Warsaw, New York. Big jug, plastic. Big boy, guys. I can't drink all this. It's going to go to waste. But I'm going to give it a try for you guys. Sacrifice my gut here for you. That's good. The best out of the three. Smooth. I'm gonna go with 8.7 on the on the creamery. Thank you guys for all the chocolate milks. Appreciate it very much. We'll keep doing them. We got a dub tonight. The fans are awesome. T-shirt trailer was crazy. Uh, Weed supports a good track for me. 20 G's, guys. Awesome.